Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into what actually NumPy is and why to use NumPy. This session is mainly going to be the conceptual session where we will try to understand the concept of NumPy and once we understand the usage of NumPy, then it is very easy to understand that how to leverage this library for data analysis. So let's jump into a diagram where we will start our discussion. So we are into the diagram and this is the diagram of an array. So before going into the formal definition of the NumPy and their usage, I wanted to tell you in a very simple line that NumPy is related to the array operations. We are using NumPy for array operations. So you should remember that whenever anything related to the NumPy is coming, so it is related to the array operations. So now let's start with the formal definition is so what actually the NumPy is. So NumPy is a fundamental computing library for Python. NumPy supports n dimensional array and provides simple and efficient array operations. So you must be wondering and asking that if there is a Python, then why should I use NumPy library for numerical competition? So to answer your question, I would say that Python was not initially designed for numerical computation. That is because Python is interpreted language and it is slower than compiled language like C. So now you must be asking that how C language coming into the picture. So then I will tell that NumPy is a library of algorithm written in C language which stores data in a contiguous block of memory. So that means if it is written in C language, so arrays of NumPy uses very much less memory compared to built-in Python sequence. In the upcoming session, I will demonstrate that there are various other advantages of using NumPy arrays like NumPy arrays provide efficient multidimensional array operation both memory and competition wise. It provides fast mathematical operations on entire arrays without need to use loops. And in the upcoming session, we will look into various examples. Another feature of NumPy is which makes NumPy very powerful is that it provides various support for scientific calculation. Like if you want to calculate linear algebra, or say if you want to perform linear algebra operations on array, you can easily do it. Even you can also perform a statistic operations like mean, median, mode that we are going to use in our data analysis session when we discuss about the exploratory data analysis steps for feature creations within data analysis. Then on that time, we are going to use features of NumPy, which is mainly for statistics. You can also do calculation of Fourier transformation like mathematics very easily using NumPy. So these are some of the usage of NumPy. So this is about quick introduction of the NumPy and their usage. In the upcoming session, we are going to look into array types. That is a revised session of my earlier course, but I am going to introduce it again so that everyone will be on the same page while doing the lab on NumPy. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.